Hey, so this is a two-part video on customer purchases and refurbs. So just to clarify the terminology here, a customer purchase is um, what we call it when you buy a computer or a phone or some inventory type item from a customer and you're going to give them money for it and you're going to um, intend to put the item into inventory and sell it. So that's a customer purchase in Repair Shopper. And then a refurb is when that thing needs some work from your shop before it's ready to be sold. And that might be putting parts into it or a technician spending time cleaning it up, putting labor into it. So the idea is you're tracking this, you're gonna put some time and maybe inventory parts into the product and get it ready to be resold. So that's what we call a refurb. So um, here's a quick two-part series on how our customer purchases and refurbs work together. From the invoice tab, you can get to customer purchases. Um, customer purchases are going to show devices you've recently bought. We'll just start a new one here. So here, if you want, you could store some identification number or create a new customer and come back. Um, we're just going to keep this simple. Um, <clears throat> so from here. You want to be using serialized inventory items. Um, you can create a new item from here, but the primary flow is to use an existing item that's already serialized. So I'm going to use this Dell that I know of that's serialized. Here we could put the serial number for this device, um, maybe a service tag number or something. I'm going to make up something. This is like new. You can put whatever you want in the condition. And then price is what you're gonna pay this person for it. So maybe, I don't know what this laptop is, but we'll just say we're gonna buy it for $250. So, <clears throat> now we've got a purchase on here. Now the next step is we're gonna um, either attach a file, maybe you wanna take a photo of it, um, or hand a PDF, like this is an estimate to the customer maybe, or um, you could just pay. So at this point a lot of shops just write a check or hand cash over the counter. Um, so we'll select, oh, I've got registers, select a register, <clears throat> okay, so from here we're just going to do payout, and I'm in a register, it's asking the payment method, I'm just going to give them cash, and now it's paid. You can hand them a PDF of this if you want. It shows that you paid them for it. So this is a new feature, start refurb. And if you wanted, if this item looks great and you just want to sell it immediately, you can just click add to inventory. It'll move this straight to inventory. Um, this is a two-part video so here I'm going to show you part two which is the refurb section so we're gonna say um, let's pretend this thing needs like a new screen so um, just needs a new screen looks great put a comment in the log and I'm gonna go ahead and start refurb so screen Okay, we've got a Dell from this customer purchase with this issue. We've got a refurb number here, um, kind of like a ticket number. You can see we're tracking the current total cost. Um, so now on the refurbs module, there's going to be this pending refurb. You can assign a technician to it if you'd like. Um, so think of this like another ticket system maybe where the people who do your refurbs will work out of this tab. Um, so this device is now, the customer's been paid, they've left the store, maybe a couple days later, someone's working these refurbs, they're going to come in here and say, here, and say, they're going to say, hey, let me add a um, laptop screen to this, or I'm going to use a fan because we don't have a screen, and we'll pop that part on here. So that's going to take that part out of inventory, it's going to add the cost to this refurb, and we're going to start building a history of work that was done here. So maybe we'll also add an hour of labor. That's what it took me to 
you know, install that screen or fan or whatever. Um, so you can see the cost of this instance of this product is increasing based on the stuff I put in, and those things are coming out of inventory if they need to. Um, so from here, um, we've got this thing ready to go. We're probably going to just put it in inventory. So we'll say complete and move to stock. Now this instance is going to be available to be sold. Um, so you can see the history. You can see this um, product link is going to go directly to the detail for this serial. So here it pulls up. We can see in the history on this date the item was received from that customer for that price, and then we refurbed it. Um, now anytime we take this serial number from this device and search for it in the app, it's going to take us back to that same exact screen. So you'll always be able to look up that history. You can click through to the refurb and see what was done to it. Um, so you're maintaining a lot of stuff there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you get to play with the refurb module.